countries. So here's a set of bald eagle eggs that were collected in 1906 in uh, Cat Island, South Carolina. And what I like to point out to people with these eggs is that many of the ones in our collection from bald eagles, ospreys, and uh, peregrine falcons were used in this incredible study in the early late 1960s, early 70s to document that eggshell thinning was actually happening in birds that were exposed to DDT versus birds that weren't. So these eggs from South Carolina would have come from a population of uh, bald eagles where eggshell thinning was expected because of the use of DDT. And what they went in and is they measured the pre-DDT era eggshell thickness and the post-DDT era eggshell thickness and were able to show very clearly that in the areas DDT was being used in the species of birds like bald eagles and peregrine falcons and ospreys that were part of the food chain most likely to accumulate DDT, that's, that, that's where eggshell thinning was, was happening. And it's one of the greatest conservation success stories in the U.S. because they banned DDT. Bald eagles and peregrine falcons have come off the endangered species list. Ospreys are breeding all over the country. And so, it's you know, again, it, it all was the result of some really good science based on collections. And I always like to point out that the guy that collected these, a guy named uh, A.T. Wayne, uh, back in 1906, had no idea that 60 years later, his eggs would be used to, in a study to argue for the preservation of bald eagles.